Hello everybody, Stuart from Riku here. We've been teasing our new dashboard for content generation and I just thought I'd show you some things about our document view. We're still working hard to get this ready but I believe that we should probably be able to let a select few users on within the next sort of 24 hour period. So this is our document view. You can see here you can choose your technology on the left side if you want to toggle this just to write plainly you can but you can choose what you want you'll notice that some of the technology doesn't look so good here and that's purely because this is our test environment so we didn't load everything up specifically as it should but if i wanted to hit gptj i can do that and then i can put in all of these additional fields and i can use this button down here to toggle our command line. So this is like a God mode, a boss mode, an instruct mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can then do what you want with this. So I could say, write a paragraph on lions and I can hit run command. Because I have the technology set up as GPTJ, it's going to give me the output as GPTJ. So it's going to use GPTJ for the technology here. Whereas if I was to set this up as DaVinci, um, it's going to use DaVinci 003. So the latest version of DaVinci. We are letting users either set it as GPTJ. So if it's not set as DaVinci, then it's going to use GPTJ. And if it is set as DaVinci, it's going to use 003. There are no other options at the moment. We may consider that in the future. But we feel let's use the latest and greatest model, which is DaVinci 003, or let's give those who don't have access to OpenAI the chance to use whatever they want. So we have GPTJ and DaVinci, and that is sort of the command output here. I just wanted to do a couple more because I have no idea why it created these as short because the token on both of these is set to be the same thing. So they should give quite comparable outputs with that. So let's just delete some of this now and let's set it to DaVinci and let's use the uh, compose button. So the compose button is quite nice. Uh, it's believed that they have been around for over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete part of the end of this paragraph and then I'm gonna use the compose button. So I can do small if I want, hit compose when it's small and we get for over two million years. If I want to redo that, I can hit undo. Then let's do medium. And let's see if it's going to give us a little bit longer. No, it's not. Because we are quite near the end of a sentence. Let's just do large for the sake of it. For over 2 million years. Um, they mostly hunt at night. Maybe if we do something back here. We're going to show more of the potential with the lengths and have an oppressive roar. Lions are also very protected of pride and will fiercely defend it if necessary. Let's just try that again. And we get a longer output. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> took a bit of time, but the AI is working to help you with your work and it's going to try and finish off what it predicts to be the next tokens within the sequence. So that is the length output. We're going to have ways for you to uh, toggle the tone of voice so you can put form or you can put what you want within here. You can put some keywords for it to take into account or not. Um, again, all of this is pretty raw and raw and ready with, to, with, in, with uh, being able to choose uh, these settings and these like character counters is uh, something that we need to fix still. We have our search button, which is going to let you come in and you'll be able to search through categories. You'll be able to see all the prompts within the category. You'll be able to run them and you'll be able to add them to the document. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then we have this thing here called your prompt list, which is going to load up uh, the different prompts that you want to choose and you can run them and add them within your document. So. This is just sort of a brief sort of run through of what we've been working on, what's coming. Um, we're, we're, we're almost sort of done with it now. 
just a case of fixing up a few things tidying it all up so there is nothing left from the development version to the live version and then actually pushing it live and letting people on i think it's uh it's pretty cool it's a very simple very easy way to create content and for those using Riku who have created awesome prompts or found awesome prompts within the community and wanted a place to use those prompts um, and to actually get your writing done, I think this document uh, setting and the dashboard that we have coming is really going to help you and it's going to help you create content faster. It's going to help you create content easier and it's going to help you take it where you need it and what we have with the publish and being able to share it where you want to share it is also going to be super impressive so there's lots of uh interesting things to come hopefully we are able to give access to select users within 24 hours those will be probably users in our facebook group so i'll link that below and if you did want to join our facebook group feel free to do so it's the best place to learn experiment test deploy and enjoy all things ai we make it super simple and we've got a very happy thriving community of people willing to help out and willing to help you solve your problems and get where you need to be with artificial intelligence thank you